in the mid 18th century, a boy came out of the caverns here. He was one of a group of four who'd gone into the caverns a few days earlier and gone missing. There had been a spate of mysterious disappearances from the caves here. The boy said that his three friends were dead and that in the cave he'd escaped from a bunch of cannibalistic dwarves. This is the terrifying tales of Crank Caverns. Hi everybody, Matt and Tom back with you. Tom today representing HS2. Well, on this channel before we've been to many haunted locations and occasionally I've taken a trip into the depths of the earth. Today we're combining the two. Now behind us is what's called Crank Caverns and it's the entrance to a former uh, quarry. This was originally called Rainford Delft Quarry. But the quarry's been here so long, there seems to be no history of it or who worked here. It goes back as far as 1700. In the last two decades, though, Tom's done some research on this. He's looked at British newspaper archive and things like that. And the only thing... <laughs> Thank you. Damn skeeters. And the only thing associated with crank cabins is death. So there are numerous um, newer entrances to the caverns, uh, kind of on this frontage here. I think there's seven different um, entrances that all lead to one cavern. And there are so many rumours and stories linked to what's here, um, including that the underground tunnels go on for seven miles. Um, there are numerous stories of people missing and not coming out again. Um, there are stories of folklore and horror and there's obviously the story of these cannibalistic goblin-esque dwarves and what supposedly happened was that the um yeah there's noises isn't there's there? a lot of noise, there's a lot of noise there. down there <laughs> stop, stop, sorry. <laughs> my god could this be actually be the terrifying one we've done anyway no put it out of your head so the dwarves are in the in down there apparently and the authorities knew that people had been missing from here so they they, <laughs> they sent down some heavily armed soldiers and when they were down there they came across a lot of um, human bones and a child's head and there was also apparently in the cavern itself called a church an actual church which was of no denomination that they could figure out there was candles in it there was um, gargoyles on the altar and it suggested that afterwards either the cave collapsed or the soldiers so disgusted at what they'd seen dynamited it so nobody could ever get in there. That's just one story. Um, yeah, once we're in there I'll explain a few more and hopefully you will see this video. <laughs>
So from here you can see the multiple entrances we could have come in through either uh, entrance to get here. What you'll notice is there's quite a lot of graffiti. Um, I don't really know who's done that over time. Um, but hey ho, it's here. That's life. Um, yeah, there's a lot of noises. So many noises down here. Um, I don't know how deep we can get, whether it is just this entrance way. But even so, it's pretty cool. So the crank caverns were originally a vast network of tunnels and caverns. There's very little known history of its past. Behind these main newer tunnel entrances are deeper, much older tunnels. Quarrying began here around 1700. There are two sets of caverns altogether. This one, when originally opened, led to an underground roadway that was sealed off in 1948 and there was an extensive tunnel network beyond that. There are rumours that the cellar of the Stork Inn in Billinge may have access to those tunnels. There are another set of caverns on the site and they are much older still and at the bottom of a deep ditch. The largest is a cavern called the Elephant Cave. Next to that is one called the Mousy, which leads into a much deeper and older set of tunnels again and requires a belly crawl before the caves open up. Inside those caves are said to be stalactites and stalagmites. Most of the tunnels have been sealed up for safety reasons. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, there's another cave just here. Thank you. Here's Matt slipping through dung. <laughs> See? <laughs> Keeping it PG, keeping it PG. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It is, but I believe the texture of that mud might be our that undoing. Bit. All of it. That bit. Well, I think the hard bits might be the bodies. <laughs> Ooh. You, you go first. Oh, well. Just don't bring me down in a landslide. Are they your squelchy shoes? Are they your squelchy shoes? Well, they are now. Ah. <laughs> if you are not coming any further, I'll need to... Oh, no, I will. I'll come down. Come if only to pull you out. <laughs> you have to see how we that's, that's, that's exactly... There, you think? Is that solid? Yeah. Oh, good. Right, so... This looks pretty disgusting, so just in case I fall over, I'm going to stick the camera away till we're down there. <laughs> okay, so now we're in a section where there are two caves. One is called the Elephant, which is what we're in now, and then there is another called the Mousy, which if we do decide to go on, is about a three minute crawl on our stomachs. Um, <laughs> it's really intriguing, this mass of crap, basically, shoved up against the entrance. Only because it's dry, we've kind of managed to get down it, but it is actually incredibly boggy. But I think that is a way of trying to keep people out. However, we are here. 
So let's uh, see what's here. This is more like it. Alright, yeah. Now we have a system. Dead end. Really? Yeah. It's disappointing. Well, I think it's dead end. Okay. You know why the birds are shouting like that, don't you? Because the rabbits No, because the owls just come out. Oh. So the little birds will be warning that there's a predator on the loose. So in this cavern what we're seeing is occasionally there are places where it looks like it's been filled in. And we do know that at various points uh, parts of it have been filled in for safety. Um, there's another story which I think dates from the 1970s or 80s. And it's about two boys who came exploring in the caves and neither of them ever came back. So eventually the police um, set up a search mission and apparently there were kind of witnesses at the cave's entrance that they actually ended up bringing out seven body bags, not two, which you would expect, but there were seven body bags. Bizarrest of all, one of the body bags the shape inside it was just a square. What could that have been? This is the mouse, right, okay. Oh. Or here to the right, or have we just seen that? No, no. that's bunny, but over here, yeah. they're trying to have a go at bunny. Oh, wow. Well. well, God, the gate at the other side, isn't there? Yes. Is there a mushroom as well? It looks like it. So this is where I leave you, and I, once again, head into hell. If I can get through the crap. Oh, wow. You can see how they've just come down and shoved all this here. Oh, <laughs> it's vile. I don't know if I can get up to it. Oh, God. Have you seen it? No. No. And the reason there's mushrooms growing is because it's shit. <laughs> okay, so I cannot get any closer, I'm afraid, than that. And if I did, there's no point. I'll just have to come back, but you can see where the there's a gate across it, and then there's another gate beyond that. So they've really sealed off the cave here and then covered it in with this. Wow. Yeah. It's cool. I think I'm stuck in the shit. <laughs> I'll pass you the phone. So there's really no way into any part of these caves. Uh, they've even put a big metal uh, rack across it. Um, but hey ho, it's for our own safety. And there's so much death attached to this place that it's probably better and it doesn't include ours. Oh, hello, spider. Well. Still, as a location, it's pretty cool. That's not your water, is it? No, no I didn't bring any, unfortunately. Well. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Occasionally when you look up stories of the caverns, there's also tales of witches. 
but I've not been able to find out what that actual associated story is. Um, so if you're from round here, um, we're near St. Helens, by the way, um, let me know. But there is one more story from here. So, <laughs> let me get out first. See go down. In there? Spotted an arrow. <laughs> Let's see if I can see anything with the torch. Thank you. Okay. Are you going in? Well, it is a, it is a tunnel there, but does it just connect to, to the others? Well, if it does, it does. <laughs> well, you wanted to go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. <laughs> well. I presume you're not coming. Uh, no. Oh. Mind your cock my bag. I certainly will, yeah. All no. those goblins. Oh well. So we're in another bit of the cabins here, that little hole there, is what I've just crawled through. Uh, wow. Okay, just get my breath a minute. Hmm. So I started to think about the fact there were four boys down here. They met a group of cannibalistic killers. Dwarves as in like the seven dwarves, but probably a bit nastier. And only one came out to tell the tale. What horror film does that suddenly remind you of? Definitely in a different section here. And when you see this kind of setup in a quarry, this has been put there uh, by man during its time as a quarry or mine to keep the roof up. I don't like the fact I've just seen <laughs> a candle. If you remember the story, there was a candle inside the church. It's nuts. Does it go any further? One thing that I've noticed is when Tom and I were outside, we heard a lot of noise filming at the start. And since we've come in, there's been no noise at all. Not even a drip or anything. Weird. So you can see there's a little passageways going off all over here. Some possibly filled in, some not. Who's to say if it would suddenly collapse or anything? I don't know if that does go anywhere. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Gratuitous bomb shot. Did I tell you that horror story? <laughs> it really reminds me of the descent. I'm going to do the one who escapes. <laughs> so that was the way we came in. Head right back up that way.
comes into the caverns to help. Ah, well, all right. Let's see where we are. I think down there is where we were. We'd have come up through that tunnel there. Well, okay. What an extraordinary location this has been. Um, so even though the main tunnels beyond are either gated off or you know sealed up, still enough to look at here. Um, it won't trouble any kind of cave expert for the likes of Tom and I. It's more than enough. I certainly don't feel like I've quite gone into the depths of the earth as I have done on others. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth a visit. It is just off a path. You can come and have a look at them. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, one story left to go. So let's just have, now we can stand up. Let's just have one last look around the caverns whilst we're here, because they are amazing. Various points you really do have to think they've come and they've sealed it up. I imagine that may have been a way in. Okay. You've come out of a bigger hole than you went into. It's usually the case. Well, those monsters are ferocious. Tom, my friend, we survived the caves. We survived the evil creatures within. There is one more still to tell you about. Because apparently, although I was talking about the film The Descent, in terms of the story of the boy escaping from the cannibal creatures down there, there's also a link to, I think, a film called Ring. I think it's probably nearest to Ring. And if you see this video called Ring, or is it Ringu, something like that, you die seven days after watching it. The thing crawls out of the TV and comes and gets you. Here, apparently... There is an evil rabbit, it's called the Crank Rabbit. And if you see the rabbit at the caves, um, you have four days left, essentially. Um, we've done all right, we haven't seen a rabbit so far, have we? No, not yet. No, not yet. I don't particularly want to see one because I'd like to get past Monday uh, because we've so much more to do. And lastly, uh, before we finish, thank you so much if you've enjoyed the recent road trip videos with Danielle on them. And we have another road trip coming up in five weeks. We're going to a couple of other caves. And one of those is linked to another famous 70s horror film. But whereas a lot of this is folklore, possibly, the one we're going to tell you about has a real element of truth. You'll find out more in a few weeks. So, from Tom and I. If you are cursed, I think you just have to sing Chaz and Dave, Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. <laughs> We'll put it on YouTube next and it'll yeah. it'll so we have a go before we finish. Rabbit. 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 Rabb